In this video, I'll be attempting to find rough FPS values for these shotguns and also to see what characteristics would show on the high speed footage. From the last bite bullet article with the Moscards, it was found out that initial shots were deflecting or blocking the stronger follow up shots, therefore not giving an accurate measurement on the ballistic gel. By reducing the shot three at a time with the shotguns, this problem will be dramatically reduced. Firstly, we tested the penetration of the Springer pistol. This fired at 175 FPS and gave a penetration of 32.18 mm. Then we used a Tokyo Mori M4 AEG. Chronoing at 257 FPS, this gave a penetration of 47.2 mm. Followed by a non blowback Ruger pistol using 134A gas, this gave 283 FPS and also gave 51.48 mm penetration in the ballistic gel. Now it's time for the shotguns. The Tokyo Mori M3 gave a penetration range between 48.38 mm and 54.12 mm. Notice the different penetration path taken by the BBs. Next up we have the Tanaka Model 1897, also known as a trench gun. This gave a penetration between 45.14 mm and a whopping 79.1 mm. Just to do something different, we used the Airsoft Surgeon Slug Shot. It has a different caliber and ballistics, so we were interested to learn what it would do under our high speed footage. Notice the pre-impact impulse shortly before the slug enters the ballistic gel. The gel movements also show it can be very devastating to the target. Because a trench gun produced such a high penetration, we needed something to compare it to. So we recorded the penetration of the non-blowback Ruger using green gas which gave 415 FPS and penetrated 81.62 mm in the ballistic gel. For full information of this Fight the Bullet report, please visit redwolfairsoft.com.